Got some fresh stainless T-bars with nice welds on them. I guess uh, Derek probably did that, but don't tell him I said that they're nice. Tell him they suck so he can get better. Derek, your welds suck. Keep trying. What's up y'all, Jake from Prism Supply. Today we're gonna walk you through all the ins and outs, everything you need to know about our handlebars. So we have four different options total. All of our handlebars are made from one inch, 120 wall material. What you see here is stainless, but they're also available in mild steel. Starting with our Hurricane handlebars, we sell these in six, eight, 10, or 12 inch rise, and the way that that's measured is you set this on the table to here. So that's, that's your total rise. These were modeled after uh, pre-unit Triumph style handlebars. Those were all made in seven eighths. These are one inch. They have the tight bends, the same as like the old Triumph style did. Very traditional, very classic, can't go wrong. We also have a Cyclone handlebar. This is the same radius bend as our Hurricane handlebar. These are a combination of pre-unit style and buckhorn style handlebars. This is just kind of like our spin on what we thought would be a cool, comfortable, unique handlebar. It's got more pull down and more pull back than a traditional pre-unit style. These are available in eight inch rise and a 10 inch rise. Both the Hurricane and the Cyclone handlebars will require your existing riser setup. The flats on both of these handlebars measure 5.5 inches. It'll work perfectly with your traditional Harley risers. Moving on up, we have our T-bars. This is just your standard T-bar. It's got a double bend versus just one bend in the middle. Slight pullback to it, slight pull down. It has built-in risers so you don't need your existing risers. The threads on this are half 13, three and a half inch spacing apart. That's your standard stock triple tree spacing. They come in one rise height. I believe this is the nine or 10 inches total. They are 100% TIG welded, no MIG welds here. Make for the money, TIG for the honeys. That's, that's Zach's line. Shout out to my brother, Zach. Last but not least, these are our rabbit ear handlebars. You do not need your existing riser clamps. You can use threaded bungs that are that come already pre-welded into these handlebars. When we were initially designing these handlebars, we wanted to make them slightly different than the rest of the rabbit ears. So that's when we came out with this little custom machine crossbar. If you wanna make your own bars, we also sell this crossbar and these bungs on our website. All four different styles of handlebars come with two different materials, mild steel and stainless steel. The benefits of mild steel are you can get them chromed or powder coated, or you can leave them raw if you want your, uh, your classic rat rod look. I don't agree with you, but you can do that. It's a free world. Stainless is perfect for being left raw. Um, you could run them just like this and they would never age or age very little. And, uh, or you can polish them and they'll look almost like chrome. You do not want to get stainless chromed or it will peel off. Every single pair of handlebars that we sell is one inch. I'm sorry we don't do seven eighths. I don't know if we ever will. Our throttles work perfectly. Our grips work perfectly. Our grip collars work perfectly. Our handlebar controls, everything is made to work with all of these handlebar options. And another thing to note, with every single option we have, the, the grip length comes long. It's like roughly 10 inches long. So you can leave them long if you want that wide feel and that wide look, or feel free to trim them down. Advice for that would be just measure how much you want to cut off and then wrap a piece of tape around it as your guide and then you just use a cutoff wheel, bandsaw, whatever you have to cut it. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with any of these options. If you want to have a, a custom look for your Sportster, uh, new or old, or your Panhead or your Knucklehead, you can't go wrong with any of these models. They'll all look great. Um, you can purchase them on our website, prismsupply.com. And the best thing about all of these handlebars is they're made right here in this shop in Charlotte, North Carolina. Support USA made. That's what you want to do, make sure you hit your gas tank. Oh, again, again. Might as well do a third time for Dale.